my grub lovers who ready to get their grub on you know that i am it's your boy mr grub back again with another video for you guys and today i know i said i wouldn't do this guys but i'm gonna do it because people still ask me about it and i think they're trying to be funny but i'm gonna do it anyway i'm gonna go to wendy's man oh man against my better judgment because i heard they got some new stuff on the menu i'm gonna try it out for you guys okay this is for you you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't worked out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So I got a little room, you know, to play with. So I'm gonna head over there right now. Check out this new thing on the menu, man. <sighs> Wish me luck, guys. Your boy, Mr. Grub. All right. So I went ahead and got their. Uh, they got a new burger. It's called the. Uh, a sauce burger I guess it got like this special sauce on it the sauce kind of looks like uh look like the Big Mac sauce a little bit you know what I mean so it's called a sauce burger I guess sauce and awesome or whatever all right it's catchy right so they're supposed to have this sauce burger and uh I was like I want to try it because I want to see just how sauce it is right uh, so I'm gonna let y'all look at this first okay before I I dig in on it. Okay, I'm gonna let y'all check this out. So, sauce and burger. Where the sauce at? How you gonna have a burger called sauce and burger that's dry? Oh hell no! I mean, y'all look, y'all saw it, right? Like, there, where the sauce at? Like, somebody like took a little spoon and was like, uh, sauce him. Got it! Come on, man. You can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Wendy, listen what I'm telling you. I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> I'm gonna eat the food, guys. I'm gonna do it. But I want you guys to know, I want Wendy's to know, I'm never eating there again. I'm done, okay? I've been to three locations. I've done videos, guys. This is my third time at a different location. Y'all finally got some meat. So I was excited, right? Oh, they got some meat. They got some meat. They got some meat. You know, last time they had no meat. Now you got meat for a sauce and burger with no sauce. I'm, I'm hurt, guys, because, you know, I'm letting y'all down. You know what I'm saying? That's three times. No sauce. So you, so what y'all got to do, Wendy's, matter of fact, who came out with the word awesome? Whoever that is, y'all need to get y'all word back because Wendy's is ruining your name, okay? That sauce is the only thing good about the sandwich is the name, okay? I haven't tasted it yet, and, I, and I, I'm saying that already. You know what I mean? So, you know what? I told you guys I was going to give lessons, okay? So, here's, 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 here's a word. Here's the word of the day. <sighs> bias, okay? So, when you give it an opinion on something, try not give it a biased opinion. Meaning, if you like Burger King, more than you like McDonald's and someone asks you which one is better Burger King or McDonald's if you feel you can't answer the question unbiasedly if you can't answer it with a straight face and say uh well McDonald's has these qualities Burger King has these qualities uh it could go either way based on the balance of the qualities uh but I prefer Burger King so, if you can't answer it like that, don't answer it, okay? Because you're going to end up giving a biased response. So, I'm going to drop the definition for y'all because I got to educate you, right? But being biased is, is basically, it's like being judgmental based on your own perception, okay? So, you're making a decision based off of how you feel instead of what's actually right or wrong, right? So a lot of people who, when you, when you see people in court and they're, they're picking jurors, they have to make sure that there is no correlation. The person doesn't know the person on trial, vice versa. Just like in prison, 
you know, they say that the guards can't know the inmates. If you do, they're going to transfer you or the inmate to a different institution. And the reason for that is because you don't want to be in a biased situation. I don't want to give you as a prisoner more privileges than I would give someone else because I'm related to you. I know you, whatever the case may be. And I'm trying not to be biased in this situation because I went in already feeling bad about eating Wendy's. So forgive me guys because I, I think I kind of made a biased decision. I'm going to still eat the burger because I want you guys to just to see how it tastes. It's not a lot of sauce, but it could still be good, right? So that's our word for today. Lesson learned, okay? So we're going to get into this burger because I'm already... Anyway, we're going to get into it, okay? I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> A few moments later. So, the burger's not bad. Um, you know, I like that the lettuce was fresh. You know, the burger itself tastes fresh. So, I'm not disappointed in the taste. But, it just tastes like a burger. There's no, like I told you, there's no sauce. You see, ain't nothing dripping all out the side and all that. It's just a burger. Um, I don't taste, even if there is sauce on there, that's different. I don't taste it. So, I don't know. To answer unbiasedly, I can say I'm not impressed. Um, I felt like burger itself isn't as good as it's advertised to be and I expected a little more based on the advertisement you know um, I feel like Wendy's you gotta you gotta step your game up right now I don't know what it is but you're definitely falling off So, I don't know if um, anybody else has had this burger. <laughs> or maybe it's, it's, it's better in your city, in your town, in your state. If it is, let me know. But, it's definitely, you know, not an exceptional sandwich at this point. Like I said, I feel like... Um, there could have been a little more actual sauce on it. But, either way, I did try it again for you guys. I told you I would, so. I give me credit for that. Um, but when is you got to do better, okay? So, on a rating one to ten, you know, based on presentation, taste, quality, service. My nigga. <laughs>
lettuce, tomatoes, onions. Like everything was fresh. So I like that. They were quick on the service. Um, you know, the bread was soft. So I give them that. But as you guys saw, there was like barely any sauce on it. So, anyway, third time's a charm, guys. Not for me. Last time, um, when is you lost a customer? Not saying you care so much because you got a lot of them. And I think um, what changed with them was people went from, Wendy's actually went from, from, from the quality side of it. To the financial side you know people like wendy's because of the taste you know the options the seesaw you had better options and if the meat seemed like it was always fresh everything but when they got so bent on those prices and it, it, it just seemed like it changed you know what i mean once the four for four came out i think that's what it started changing and now i feel like it's more so competition with the fast food chains keeping up with each other it's causing it to just kind of be a mess for the consumer you know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, man, we live and learn, guys. So, shout out to Wendy's for trying something new, you know, trying to stay in the game. You know what I mean? I, no harm, no foul. But uh, I'd rather uh, just take my business elsewhere. Uh, but for you guys, you know, I do it. That's what I do. So, Comment below. Let me know if you guys have tasted the sandwich. Where you know tasted it, if it was good, uh, if there's anything else that I should try. You know, I'm definitely down for it, man. I put them to the test. So, until next time, you guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's your boy, Mr. Grub. I'm out.